Eight hundred thousand dollars. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Yes, sir. All right. Excuse me. Yes, sir. All right. And so that would be eight hundred thousand dollars in fees that would get attributed to you. That has nothing to do with the money that you subsequently stole from that teenager. Correct. <laughs> The eight hundred thousand is different from money that I stole. Yes, that's correct. All right, so you got eight hundred thousand dollars attributed to you with the firm, but that was not enough. You also stole money from that teenager. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. When you did that, did you sit down with her, much as you sat down with this jury, and explain to her what was going on while you were stealing her money? Uh, I. That would be the normal process, but I, I certainly don't remember specifically doing that. That would be the normal process, correct? That would be. It, it may be a little different with a teenager, but certainly, I mean. You would sit down with them across the table and go through these documents, correct? If, if that, that would not be abnormal, yes, sir. All right. And then you would try, you would explain to them what was going on and how they were getting everything they were entitled to, correct? If I was the one doing it, yes, sir. And you would look them in the eye while you did that, correct? It wouldn't be unusual for me to look them in the eye. While you were doing some fast talking to a teenager, correct? I certainly was not telling her the truth. I don't know if I was talking fast or slow, but I wasn't telling the truth. All right. Well, you ultimately convinced her that there was nothing amiss here, right, while you were stealing her money, correct? I don't know if I convinced her that nothing was amiss or I misled her, but I admit candidly in all of these cases, Mr. Waters, that I took money that was not mine and I shouldn't have done it. I hate the fact that I did it. I'm embarrassed by it. I'm embarrassed for my son. I'm embarrassed for my family. And I don't dispute that I did it. I, I understand that. And but you so, understand that we have to ask about these things because we've heard about it in a very academic paperwork manner. But every single one of these, you had to sit down and look somebody in the eye and convince them that you were on their side when you were not. Correct? That's what you did in every single one of these. I mean, every time... Answer my question, yes or no, and then you can explain. I'll let you explain all day long. Well, I mean, no, sir, that may or may not be true. Okay. And, Mr. Waters, just to try to get through this quicker, I admit... I know you want to get through it quicker, but we're not. So answer the question, please. What, 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 I, what I admit is that I misled them, I did wrong, and that I stole their money. Now, this, this is something. What's the date on that one? I'll bring it back to you. Well, you can tell me. I, I trust you to tell me accurately. Uh, well, you know, it's kind of funny. It doesn't have the date on it, but uh, I'll let you take a look at it. All right, I'm just looking at the date of the check. So that's mm -hmm. December 20th of 2011. So that gives us the ballpark. So that's 12 years ago. For me to sit here and tell you specifically that I remember sitting down and talking with Natasha Thomas, I, I can't tell you that. But what I can tell you, and mm -hmm. I can tell you that I didn't do right by Natasha Thomas. I took money from Natasha Thomas that didn't belong to me, and I was wrong for doing that. Okay. And I admit that. All right. And I know, Mr. Murdoch, that you would like for it just to be as simple as that, just to say, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I stole money, and have that be the end of it. But in every single one of these cases, Objection to the comment, Your Honor. You just justified that you would like to just admit that make this quick, correct? Isn't that what you said? Isn't that what you implied? No, sir, Mr. Waters. You have charged me with murdering my wife and my son. And I have sat here for all these weeks listening to all this financial stuff that I did wrong, that I'm embarrassed by. I'm happy to talk to you about as much of that as you want to talk about. I'm required to talk about it as much as you want to talk about it. But the fact is, is I cannot specifically remember sitting down. The details that you're asking me for, I, I can't tell you. But what I can tell you is that in all these financial situations, I stole money that was not my money. I misled people that I shouldn't have misled, and I did wrong. I can tell you that. And I may be able to tell you specifically in some instances, what I did or didn't do. All right. Well, good. Well, we'll do that. But the point that I'm asking you is, 
It's, it's not as just as simple as some paperwork. You had to sit down and deal with these people and convince them that you were telling them the truth in order to steal this money, correct? Th that may not be true because in some situations, I, I may not have had to do that. They may, they may have just trusted me to do it. Okay. So that's my point is I misled them. There's no question about that. But did I sit down in each particular instance and like like you're breaking it down step by step i can't say that right. i can say i did wrong i stole money that wasn't mine and i shouldn't have done it all right and it was terrible what i did all right well let's look at stage 330 and <clears throat> this is uh arthur badger in the eps case correct that's correct all right you remember what the total recovery was in that particular case? There were multiple plaintiffs. Let me ask you that first. There were multiple plaintiffs in that case, correct? That's correct. And do you remember what the total recovery was in that case? Not exactly, but I mean, I know generally. All right. Was it $12 million? Would you disagree with that? Was it $12 million? It, I mean, if you tell me it was $12 million, then I believe you, but I thought it was a little bit more than that. All right. And if uh, ultimately, if you have multiple plaintiffs, how do you decide, as the plaintiff's lawyer, how does it work out that amounts of that total re recovery get allocated to individual plaintiffs? I mean, different cases are different ways. Um, Is it true that often the defense attorneys, the civil defense attorneys, will ask the plaintiff's attorneys how you want that allocated? Um, s sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Sure. Is that what happened in this case? In the Badger case? I can't remember exactly how we came to that. Who was the, uh, the deep pocket in the Badger case? Do you remember? The, uh, the defendant that had the money that you ultimately recovered from, the vast majority. Do you remember? Well, it was UPS, and I, I, I believe it was, I can't remember if it was corporate or if there was insurance, but it was certainly UPS was the major defendant. But I believe Arthur Badger was a defendant. I can't remember. I know, I know UPS was. Did you sit down with him and explain this paperwork that you were using to steal his money? I believe I did sit down with Arthur Badger. And managed to convince him that nothing was amiss while at the same time stealing money? I believe I did. And did you allocate millions of dollars to Arthur Badger personally while only telling him that his recovery was going to be around $300,000. I believe that I did, yes, sir. And on this exhibit, 330 sat down and looked him in the eye with all this stuff in, on here and fast-talked him past these figures so that he believed you and left thinking that you had done him right. I would have... I, I, did, did that I believe that I sat down with Arthur Badger, and I know that I misled Arthur Badger, and I'm sure at some point during that conversation that I looked him in the eye. Going back to uh, States 333, <clears throat> you remember Hakeem, Hakeem Pinckney? Do you remember him? I do. What happened to him? Um... He was injured in the same wreck that Natasha Thomas was injured in. Was he badly injured? He was. How badly injured was he? Yes, I mean, he was terribly injured. He became a, um, I can't remember what level, but he was a quadriplegic. Do you remember what the uh, total recovery amount was for him? Not off the top of my head, no, sir. All right. Well, let me show you stage 333 and see what the total, if you recall, what the total recovery was in that case. It looks like it was $10,245,000. And that was for Hakeem, correct? That's correct. And how much of that was the attorney's fees that would have gone to PMPD that would have been attributable to you? Four million ninety-eight thousand dollars. Four million dollars in legal fees that you would have gotten from this settlement. Is that correct? Four million and ninety-eight thousand dollars. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and in the end, that wasn't enough for you, correct? Was that?
that enough for you? Was that enough for me in that case? Yeah. I mean, was four million over four million dollars in legal fees that you received uh, that would have been attributable to you through the law firm at the end of the year, whatever it worked out to be, but you would have been credited with over four million in fees for that. Is that correct? That's correct. And was that enough for you? Was that enough for me? Mm -hmm. Or did you take more? Oh no, from I, 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 I took monies from Hakeem Pinckney that I that did not belong to me that I should not have taken. Been rendered a paraplegic. No, sir. He was a quadriplegic. Quadriplegic. Thank you for correcting. Me. Yes, sir. You ultimately take money from his mother, Pamela, as well. I, I believe that I did. You remember how much money you took from from a king? No, sir. Not. Off the top of my head, I do not. If I told you it was over three hundred and seventy thousand dollars, would you agree with that? If, if if that's what the records show, I don't dispute that. Do you remember how much you took from the teenager Natasha Thomas in addition to your legal fees? Not off the top of my head, no, sir. If I told you it was over three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, would you agree with that? I don't dispute it. Do you remember how much you took from Arthur Badger? Not off the top of my head, no, sir. If it was over $1.3 million, would you agree with that? I don't dispute it. No. Around the time that this was going on, did you have some land deals that were going bad, that had gone bad? Which? 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011? I, I think that they, I think those had happened a little bit before that, but I, I had some land deals that, that, you know, had certainly had problems. 